both. <laughs> you you talk in your sleep sometimes. What? The Masters home movie, take one. <laughs> Nighttime home movie. That sounds worse than I wanted it yeah, to sound. Yeah, that sounds bad. I didn't mean it to sound but... like that. Also, can I just, before we intro, can I just openly apologize for my hair right now? I'm actually cutting You're it myself cutting it this, week. this week. I have a box of wall hair cutting products. I'm gonna try to cut my own hair, so stay tuned. On Friday, I think it's gonna get shown. Should we welcome them back to our channel? We should, before my arm falls off from holding this camera. That camera is so much heavier. We show them that camera in the mirror. Yes. Like, I feel like we normally vlog it actually, just like my hand, phones. My hand looks massive, you hold it. Ugh. Look at this thing in my yeah, hand. Yeah, we're tired. Dang, look at us, we're just off to a good start. <laughs> Should we walk in the back? Let's walk, oh wait, I think the autofocus is off. Wow, the yeah. struggle. I'm not ready. <laughs> I need some, some, some chapstick or something on my lips. They're so dry right now. <laughs> you put so much. I got some on your teeth. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't do this. I gotta get a hat. Maybe. I gotta get a hat. This is not working. If you have noticed I've had hats on so much lately. It's gonna break, look at that. That way I can fully do this thing. I'm so sorry, you all. Let's welcome them back, babe. Well, hello, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's good to see you. <laughs> Can, are can we you see fingerprints? Do you see that or is it just me? I think you made it worse. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. The reason why we're in the bathroom mm -hmm. is because we're getting ready for bed, but we don't know where our bed is. So pretty much, y'all will get the big update on why there's nothing in that bedroom mm -hmm. in Thursday's video. But as we were talking, we just love having these like raw and real kind of conversations with you guys lately. Super unfiltered, just yeah. like, Oh wow, this is real life. Yeah, so we wanted to do kind of like a little pillow talk episode because what was it, last month or the month before we did a pillow talk for our patrons? Mm -hmm. A little podcast. What yeah. is this angle? My arm it's like is our chins. so Just sore. Just set it down, you my said... baby. <laughs> now the light's so bad. What's <laughs> happening? Babe, you holding. literally couldn't hold no, it. No, but you're just taking so long. <laughs> I'm not saying you're the issue, but I'm saying my biceps are a complete liability and your long windedness is not helping. I can talk and I look at the screen. You ready? We're going up. Two, one. Master's home video take two. I'm sorry guys, we are delirious, probably because of a little bit of lack of sleep lately. Um, but we did a little pillow talk episode for our patrons about a month ago. Mm -hmm. And we loved, like we had no idea where the conversation was gonna go, but we just started talking and we were like, all right, Lord, let's talk about whatever you wanna talk about. And so I figured it would be fun to do a little YouTube segment pillow talk, mm -hmm. but we gotta get ready for bed first. Amen. What is that noise? So I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get stressed out, my skin is the first thing to go. And, you know, people say stress is a killer. And like, yeah. I start breaking out in cold sores. I like, I get like really bad acne around like my scalp area. My lips get chapped. I'm really painting a picture here, aren't I? <laughs> no, I'm being totally it's serious. So my skin goes so fast and it's almost, it's kind of like a good thing and a bad thing. It's a bad thing because we film stuff for a living. So that's not fun because insecurity pops in, but it's also like a good thing because it, reminds me like, oh wow, am I letting my stress get the best of me and what should I do about that? Mm -hmm. But what's weird about like with guys is most guys products are like five for one. Yeah. AKA you get a shampoo, a conditioner, a body wash, a, a face wash, and a shaver all, <laughs> all in one, one. too. And if you're trying to find stuff to help with like dark circles or closing your pores or aftershave or really anything or just hydrating cream because you're getting older. Yeah. You don't really have as much of that stuff like that mm -hmm. and ev or, or everything kind of seems super generic. And so we're actually wow. trying this stuff called Ginucel. Not yeah. sure if you can see this. Look at me being an influencer. <laughs> wow. Is. Look at that. There it is. 
And so I'm trying a few things in order to like help out with the stress, but. Yeah, they were so sweet because they actually asked us like what our biggest problem areas were. And for me, something my mom has always struggled with and now I'm realizing I'm struggling with is dark circles. And so they sent me two different products that I can use to help with dark circles and puffiness because our lack of sleep is definitely not helping. No. But I feel like anything. I need to get like ahead of the problem. And so they sent me this one Good luck. Uh, dark, <laughs> dark circle treatment. Back up a little bit. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> So they sent me this one, I use this one first, and then the second one is actually like an immediate effect. So you actually see a difference within 12 hours. And what's cool about them is they actually have like a 60 day money back guarantee. So even if this is gone completely, if you did not see a difference using their products, you can send it back and you get a full refund. So I've actually been using this twice a day. I'll use this one first and kind of put it all over like I was earlier in the video. And then I'll go back in with the immediate effects um, because I see a difference really quickly. So I'll even put this underneath my makeup. You know, Tor and I know that like, you can't just fight stress with like face products. It's an inside out type thing. And so yeah. we've actually been doing our podcast this week on dealing with stress. And yeah. so we're actually gonna play some of that for you while we get ready for bed and then we'll jump the pillow talk, so. That our enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That seems extreme, but stress can steal from us. It steals sleep. It steals happiness. It steals our mental capacity. And all the busyness that fuels our stress could leave us so distracted by the small stuff in life that we miss out on the big plans God has for us. You ready for pillow talk? I am, let's do it. Mm, look at this poor empty room. So strange. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Why do I look like this just like, just, you look like that. Why am I the way I am? Stop it. So this is where we have been recording the podcast. Mm -hmm. There used to be a wall art up there. There used to be a wall art. There used to be a cute little hanging hanging rack. Hanging rack. Yep. Pictures. Even my pillowcases are getting washed, so. Oh, wow. Oh. Y'all are seeing a very raw, unfiltered situation. The hat's gone. Situation. The hat is gone. Oh. Baby, this is cozy though. Oh, this is very cozy. <clears throat> hmm. Well, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> We're like, do we want to talk or do we just want to sleep? <laughs> Both. You, you talk in your sleep sometimes. What? Mm -hmm. Sometimes Tori has bad dreams and I... This is like gonna I talk in my sleep? Like you talk, like, talk? It's going to make me really sad and want to cry, but sometimes you whimper. Like you're having a bad dream and you're like... Mm. And I'm like, uh -huh. it's the most sad thing ever. I get so sad when it happens. What do you do? I put my hand on your head. <laughs> like, it seems kind of aggressive because, I mean, it's a weird flex, but I have massive hands. So like, she'll be asleep. This is, welcome to TMI time. <laughs> we get turned over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> it, look, it like covers her whole head. You pray over me? I do, but I also, I think it just kind of comforts you. I don't know. So something that Chad and I have really been talking about recently is just number one, not allowing our blessings to become burdens because we've been in a very like stressful season and our devotional really convicted us of just that word in general. My word. Yes. I was so convicted. Yeah. Because truly like because of the master's fam, like just a lot of things have been happening lately and we're getting so close to closing on this home. And if you've been with us for the past year and a half of this journey, like we decided, like we were building this home almost two, not two years ago, but at, at least a year and a half ago, right? Yeah, we decided in March, March. of 2020. March of 2020. Yeah. And so, and we kind of feel like we're in labor in a way um and i know that sounds strange but it really has been like our baby for a yeah. long time and it's been growing and it's so close to being finished and when it's like this close to being finished that just means there's a lot of work like right at the the very end yeah and it can feel kind of stressful to kind get of. it all it can feel very stressful to get it all done but as we were like reading that devotional we both felt like 
number one convicted that we keep saying we're so stressed, we're so stressed, as if it's like a badge of honor. Because when we look at the life of Jesus, that's not how he operated. Like he didn't operate out of a place of stress. Like I feel like if I were like to put Jesus in our situation, mm -hmm. like he would go about everything with so much peace and with like a calm heart. Yeah. And I feel like sometimes we go about things in like a frantic, stressed way. Yeah. And we just want to make sure that we're operating in the fruits of the spirit with like gentleness and with the peace of the Lord. Uh, because we do, we serve the Prince of Peace and I don't feel like we've been doing a good enough job of like bringing his peace into situations that are stressful. Yeah. And then we are also just talking about how we want to look different than the world. And I feel like the word stress, like just, I mean, if I'm thinking of the world that mm -hmm. just, just stress. Yeah everywhere mm -hmm. and I want to look different and so I feel like how do you look different you go through like super stressful situations that the world would be like oh it makes sense that you're stressed but instead of going about it in stress you go about it in peace mm -hmm. and with joy and excitement so the world can be like wait what's different about them yeah I gotta give my hand a break real quick sorry my arm got tired what is this angle Baby. My arm got tired. Yeah, I think the part that was really convicting for me regarding like stress was I even said this I think at the end of the devotional in terms of what you were saying and how like we're called to look different. I'm just like wow like my like Heavenly Father offers me peace. My eternal father offers me peace and he calls me to spend time with them. And yet I'm too busy, you know, I'm like I'm too busy for an eternal loving father who wants good things for me. And wants to protect me from the stresses of the world mm -hmm. and i just think it's so funny that like you get so busy trying to find peace that if you were to stop you would find peace of mind mm -hmm. and the sun's peace of mind oh i see what she did there torn on pilots reference for anyone who cares i knew that was coming i also was watching this sermon by rich wilkerson he was talking about that study that we've talked about before where I think it's like 82% of people on their deathbed say that the one thing they wish they wouldn't have done is worry so much. Yeah, the top three things that people say on their deathbed are, I wish I would have worked less, I wish I would have spent more time with my family, and I wish I would, I would, I wish I, wow, I wish I would have spoke better. <laughs> I wish I would have stressed less. Those are the yeah. top three things. I don't know. Just walking through everything we've been walking through, I feel like we've just been so worried about yeah. things like turning out the way mm -hmm. we hope and like everything going smoothly and in turn it's like us worrying about it is the worst part about it yeah and it's so convicting because i'm just like but why am i letting an external thing so greatly deeply impact inner chad yeah like how you they know? operate because as a believer with the holy spirit living inside of me i am able to withstand mm -hmm. those things but if you're not actively walking with the spirit, then you are just gonna be reacting to the world. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like this is all one big podcast plug, <laughs> but I feel like that's a lot of the reason why we started the Daily Devotional Podcast. I think we've talked about it like here and there, but genuinely like speaking, like just person to person right now, the reason why we started it is because when last year got real bad, like when it got real bad for people, we realized that like one of the things that the master's fam wanted was more content and we're like well how do we do that what, what kind of content do we make and we thought well wow the world could use some more positivity and with it seems like every single day there was more and more bad news so how can we share the good news daily and then for me that was like you could share the gospel daily through a daily devotional podcast <laughs> and so that was the heart behind that and yeah and it's just so true that we need to be walking daily with the lord and able mm -hmm. to fight these distractions and and stand up to these stresses and i said this somewhere i don't know where i said it but if you don't plan how you're going to spend your time or your emotional energy your mental energy or your money or your your talents if you don't plan that the world will plan it for you and that's something i think about a lot is being a person of intention and it's hard because like you don't always know what to do with your stuff you know you don't always know how to steward it like what about your schedule well what if you're not sure what you're doing this weekend you know and so it's definitely difficult at times like to plan everything because you don't want to plan every second of your life but it's just an important acknowledgement to say like wow if i don't plan this 
someone else is going to plan it for me. And do I trust the person who's planning it for me? Not, I'm not talking about God in that situation. I'm talking about the world. Mm -hmm. So my hand is so tired. I think that's really it. Other than my hand, make sure you guys are taking care of your inside and your outside. That Go to the link so weird. in the description to check out Genucell. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was karma right there. I don't believe in karma, just so we're aware. Anything else? I think that's it. What do you got? This is gonna be one of the last vlogs in this house. Why did you just pause when you say well, this, this is gonna be one of our last vlogs? <laughs> that's the title of this video. <laughs> Clickbait. Oh my gosh, it is. Isn't that funny? Isn't that weird? You know, it's, you know, it's fine. I'm not sad about it <laughs> at no, all. Not sad. But there's been some good memes here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But I'm just thinking about the new memes. The new memes? Mm hmm All right, y'all. All right, y'all. I think the only thing left is to go to sleep. Amen. And get ready for a Thursday's video. Thursday's video is so fun. It's crazy. It's funny that this video is going to go live before Thursday's because we obviously already filmed Thursday's video. And I'm just so excited for y'all to see it. Can we also talk about how much of a rat I look like compared to her? Like Don't. my hair is jacked up. Facial. I'm wearing a grandpa shirt and you have these beautiful striped pajamas, which makes me think of a sad movie. What movie? You don't want to know. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about, but aren't these really truly the softest they are pajamas ever? Super soft. Just like your tender love for me. But my hand is going to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Love you. Good Wait, night. What? Even though they're gonna see this in the morning. They're gonna see this in the morning. Do 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 do.